Well, hey everybody, it's Outland. Today I want to show you a new piece of gear that I've got here. This is the uh, Marmot Compressor Day Pack. Had this for a while, so I've had a good chance to test it out. It's a pretty darn nice piece of gear. I want to show you what it's all about and see if it's right for you. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm wearing the compressor here. I've been doing a lot of hiking with it. I've taken it on some multiple day hikes, quite a few miles. I've taken it in cold weather, warm weather. It's just a nice pack. It's nice and lightweight, very simple, very simplistic design, but uh, it works really well. So let me take it off. Let me show you what it's all about here. So here's the pack, guys, and it's uh, very simple in its design. It's very simplistic doesn't need to be very overly complicated. In my mind, a day pack should be simple because it's just that, it's just a day pack. You're not backpacking with it. You don't need a whole lot of bells and whistles, in my personal opinion. Now, it's very much like the REI Flash 18 pack that I did a review on a while back. I'll put a link up to that so you can compare the two, but uh, it, it's different in a couple aspects in that it has a uh, top cover here, it's got an extra zipper here. It actually has water bottle, mesh compartments on the sides here right here so it has a few extra features that the flash does not have um, it comes in at 12 ounces so it's fairly light very nice material let me take it uh, out here and show you guys just a little bit closer now as you can see the pack has a few cool features that I'm gonna go through right here like I said it has this top cover which clips on and off right here and then it just has a drawstring enclosure right here opens up very well what I have inside here today is uh, some typical items I would have on a, on a typical day pack so uh, day hike so uh, things like uh, rain jacket water bottle hammock straps and maybe just a hammock just in case and then a buff that's all I have in there right now. That's typically the kind of things I would take on, on a summer day hike. Maybe a little bit more in the winter. Or a little bit less in the summer, depending on where I'm going, how far I'm going, things like that. But as you can see, there's the inside. As I said, 20 liters of space in there. So you got quite a bit of space to put your gear in there. It does have a little clip here for your keys, which is really, really nice. I use these in any kind of pack that provides these. I love to use those clips that way I never lose my keys I know exactly where they are it does have a foam back panel that is removable but I have never taken it out but you could remove that foam back panel if you wanted to um, just to make it but it makes it very 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 limp and it's very much like the REI flash pack when it gets to that point I like the rigidity of the back panel a little bit more Makes it a little bit easier to use, a little bit sturdier. On the back here, you have a zipper compartment right there. So the cover does have its own pocket right there. Very, very nice. And this pack will actually stuff down into itself, and I will show you that in a second, but it will stuff into this right into this top cover pocket, which is pretty darn neat. It does have a drag handle, very simple one, but it does have one. Very nice mesh ventilated straps. I really like these straps because they have a lot, they allow a lot of airflow. They're very thin, but strong. They're really, really nice. And then you have areas here you can put a, a hydration hose through either side whichever you want and then of course you have the nice clip there it does include a whistle which is really nice on the back side here it has another pocket there you can put stuff in there I usually keep my first aid kit in there but I do not have it in there today but that's a great place to put stuff you 
like that headlamp or something like that if you want to store that and then mesh pockets on either side for a water bottle and I happen to have camelback shoot here which I've done a review on that great bottle by the way fits perfectly it's not gonna come out of that pocket you're not gonna lose that unless you're upside down maybe but uh, stores it very nicely does have compression uh, straps on the sides as well, which are great. You can really cinch it down and make it tight. Now behind this foam pad here, there's also a slot for a hydration bladder. And there is a little Velcro tab that you can hook it there to. And then on the other side, there is a hole that comes out through here, right through the middle, where you can bring the tube out. And like I said, you can bring it on either side, left or right and have the hydration there. So it works as a hydration pack as well as just a normal old day pack. Now, like I said, you can remove the back mesh panel. So I'm gonna reach in here, pull it out. This is kind of a dual purpose thing too. You could actually use this as a sit pad. You could pull this out and sit on it instead of sitting on a log or something like that. Works really well. That's awesome. Here is the pack, all wrapped up in itself. It's in that top pocket. As you can see, it folds down very small. Very, very nice. That's super great. The only part that really stinks about it is the fact that uh, you, know, you have to take the foam pad out of it in order to do this. And then you really don't have a place to store that foam pad. I guess you could roll it up and, and put it in there as well. I haven't tried that, but there it is. All right guys, well that's my look at the Marmot Compressor Plus Day Pack. As I said, I really, really like this pack a lot. Uh, it's pretty much my go-to pack now. Now I think uh, this pack is a little bit pricey. I paid about 60 US dollars for this pack, but you might be able to find it cheaper now, uh, cheaper than that. But honestly, I think it's worth it. The construction's really, really solid and it feels good. It's, it's lightweight. That's what I love most about it. It's, it's only 12 ounces, so it's super light and just uh, really easy to take and compress. And, I think it's a great pack and I definitely recommend it. I suggest you go out and uh, if you're looking for a pack, maybe look at this Marmot Compressor Pack and uh, give it a try, see if it works for you. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you very soon and I'll see you in the next adventure.